This video is going to show you how to set up a UCU virtual classroom session in your D2L course shell. UCU is a streaming virtual classroom tool that allows you to broadcast video and audio and your screen or presentation to your D2L class and outside participants if you wish. It also allows students to interact back with you in real time using text, video, or audio methods. You can even give students presenter status, which allows them to share files on their desktop with their class as well. You set up a UCU session within a specific course. Now you'll see that in this course shell, I have a virtual classroom link added to the course navigation bar. And if you're going to do a lot of virtual conferencing in your class, that's something I would strongly recommend. You can find out how to do that in another video that I'll link below. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a session without the nav bar link, and that's going to be through the content area of your course. So the first thing is to go to content, however you normally get there, and then pick the module or sub-module where you want to add your session. In this case, we're adding it to this InstTech Playdates module. Next, you click on the Add Existing Activities button and select the last option, which is Virtual Classroom. The first time you do this, it may ask you to confirm that you do want to use UCU, and you'll go ahead and click the Yes box. Then you're going to come to this list of class meetings. As you can see in this course, I already have scheduled quite a few virtual meetings that I could select, but the first time you use this tool, you'll only see the Schedule Meeting button, so I'm going to click that now. This takes you to a screen where you schedule the virtual session. Give your session a name, and I'd recommend being pretty specific with the date and whatnot to help you later on. Then select the date and time you want your session to start, along with the maximum duration you'd like your session to last. You'll notice that you can't pick a time that is in the past or in the very near future. You have to pick a time that is at least five minutes from the time you're setting it up. When it comes to duration, notice that you have times between 15 and 90 minutes. So if your class is going to be longer than an hour and a half, you'll have to schedule a couple of sessions and take a break in between as you're delivering the course. If you want to record your session, you'll click the record box and the automatic link to recording box. If there are people outside of the D2L system who you want to participate in your session, like an outside presenter, make sure to click the allow external participants box. And if you don't want the whole class to have access, make sure to uncheck the whole class box. Now note that if you do uncheck the whole class box, you will need to have the virtual classroom link activated in your navigation bar so that you can make further edits and specify students after the session is created. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and recheck that box. Once you have all this data set up the way you want it, just click Save. You're going to see the session that you created appear here in the class meetings list, and you just click Select to add it back into your D2L content area. There you can see that is the session that I just created. And to enter it, both my students and I will just click right there on the link. We'll give you some additional details about how to actually open and run your virtual classroom session in a different video.